It came from a can. <laughs> it did. What do we got today, Well, I don't fucking know. French stuff. <laughs> we got more sardines from my good friends. Yeah, yeah. And uh, a, a jar of... Potted beef finished with a kick of mustard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. M&S quality, simply priced. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's more stuff. More awesome stuff. And we're going to... The, the last ones, the last fish, were so good. Yeah. I can't imagine these being any worse. They must just be get, uh, as good. I'm a little bit afraid of that meat taste, though. I'm going to try the citrusy one first, just because. Quit molesting my kitty. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, there's definitely citrus in there. Well, there's some. Wow, yeah. that is amazing. Look at the presentation. That's coming out of a can, folks. Yeah, they would just not bother with that shit here. Fuck no, they'd be like these stupid assholes don't care. Shake the world, shake it, shake it, shake it. Hmm. You know, I think out of all of them that we've tried so far, this is probably the blandest. Hmm. Hmm. A little bit of a citrus flavor to it. I mean, the fish is still fantastic. Some of the best sardines I've had. But, yeah. Flavor-wise, it's... Eh, I think this one could be better. Alrighty. Dos piments. Uh, there they are. There's Trace. <laughs> Pigments. Draped across the top. Yeah, there's like a green that. one and a red one. There is presentation involved here, folks. This is you impressive. Fancy fucking bastards. Aww. They're still good. It's been warrowed. <laughs> hey, I haven't really warrowed anything tonight, so it's yeah. bound to happen. He, that was a good job, sir. Yeah, that, that's that's a very minor warrow. Yeah, so like whenever we get the spicy sardines here, they need to do this. Instead of slathering them in shitty tomato sauce and making that spicy, do this. They're not super hot, and it actually takes a little bit of a time for the spice to kick in, but once it does, it's just, it's a great flavor. God damn. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Beef, folks. Oh my it's God! What's for dinner? God, what <laughs> is that? <laughs> that looks disgusting. I'm sure it's not going to taste bad. I yeah. <laughs> no, Fuck I'm you, not, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm yeah. hoping it's not going to taste bad. Get in there. Stay optimistic, Wero. Make right up to the bitter end. <laughs> oh God! Oh, yeah. Took the, that consistency. Took the plug off the top there. <laughs> oh. It's in sedimentary layers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've made a poop that looks exactly like this once before. It's not good. <laughs> not terrible. <laughs> the texture's the worst part of it, I think. And then the salt. Or maybe it's the salt and then the texture. I don't know. Those are the two standing features that I dislike. There's a about. lot of bad things about it. Yes. Is what, what I'm getting. Yeah. Um, I do want to try the citrus ones first. I am very curious as to how these are going to turn out because citrus and whitefish are just the best of friends. I got a good bit of uh, the fruit of the lemon on there. When you try this, make sure to have some lemon on there. Like, definitely. Because it's not a very strong presence in the can, but um, I gotta disagree yeah. <laughs> with Wero because uh, like the, the oil adds some nice butteriness that you would sort of get from a buttered piece of fish and then the, the lemon kicks in. And it's not terribly strong lemon, but wow. It makes the finish of that piece of fish magical. So there are two fishes left. But I'm a spicy guy, so I need to have some extra pepper on one of mine. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind. Mm. Those are awesome peppers. All the drool starting all over again. I hope I can keep it in my mouth. <laughs> this easily beats any, any sort of spicy sardine you could buy. I have to agree with Wero. Anything you're going to buy domestically just tastes like a generic hot sauce. A really crappy one, by the way. Because everyone's competing to get your dollar. 
and they know you're going to spend the least amount of money to get your products. <laughs> so it's like you never spend a little bit extra to get the really good stuff. So you never try something this good, but these are freaking amazing. Get some Puwat meat. <laughs> so I think that's probably around the amount that <laughs> Wero tried. Yeah, Ish. That's about right. <clears throat> yeah. Boy, it looks really grainy. <laughs> it looks like I don't know. Um dog food. <laughs> so mm. Let's see what it's like. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's a tough one, describing that flavor. It's like a corned beef hash that's blended. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's an excellent, excellent fucking description. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely not terrible, but it's like, what are you going to do with it, <laughs> you know? Um, you could spread it across the top of a cracker, but it's like, a cracker's going to overtake that flavor pretty easily. It's definitely not bad, but uh, it's not, like, the best, <laughs> best thing I've ever had in my life. Fuck it, I'm gonna take the whole fucking lemon. You son of a dick. You should. Mmm. That, that was probably my error. I Dude, didn't have any lemon on my Get it dish. nice and early. And just jump in there. Mmm. 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 Definitely gotta have that lemon on there. That's some good fish. It's just as good as quality as the, the other ones. The fish is just so good in those. Not too salty. I think, I sort of agree with Weryl on, on the point here though, is that when we had those other ones that were like, with the wine on them, whatever the fuck they were, the, the tartness was like, uh, ingrained in the fish. The fish was actually tart. This one, you're only getting the tartness from the outside. So, you don't get a lot of that strong, you know, tart, which, I love so much about that other one. Not quite enough in this one. If, that, if, if this fish had that same amount of tartness, this would be my favorite, but it needs a little more. I think it needs a little more. Yes. Love your song. <laughs> love your song. Ronald Weasley. <laughs> Ronald Weasley. Mm. The flavor of the pepper happens immediately. You know there's a pepper in there right away. Not necessarily the, 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 the spice, but just the flavor happens, and then at the very end, just a little hint, just a little, just a little tilde on the end there, <laughs> of spiciness. That's fantastic. Holy crap, those are delicious. <laughs> Why don't those exist here? And now the gross thing. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's gross. Jesus, look at that. <laughs> it does look pretty bad, doesn't it? It, it, ugh, it smells like corned beef. Smells salty. That's incredibly mealy. But I kinda like it. I I think this would be a delicious on crackers, honestly. Yeah. Especially with a slice of cheese on top. Oh yeah. Mmm. There's just enough there. There's just enough happening. I would spread it thickly. Yeah, for <laughs> Very sure. Thickly. For sure, but yeah, I'm not too bothered by that. I, I think out of meat pastes <laughs> that I've had inside <laughs> of containers, uh, this is up there. This is really uh, high marks for a meat paste. You know what is really sad is that we can say <laughs> out of all of the meat pastes <laughs> that we've tried, <laughs> try M and S, <laughs> the best in meat paste. This has been a came from a can. Thank you for watching.